Spider-Man fans, Dante D here and welcome to the channel where we talk about comic books and other geek stuff. In today's video we're going to be discussing whether or not these Marvel Omnibuses, specifically the Marvel Omnibus Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 is worth the purchase or not. If you're anything like me and you're uh, social distancing due to the coronavirus, most likely you're probably getting around to a lot of reading. I know I myself am getting around to a lot of reading and I'm actually looking for lots of things uh, to read. This has actually been one of the books that I have been reading uh, during my social distancing, quarantine, whatever you want to call it. And I apologize in advance if you could hear any background noise. That is my family. We're all stuck in the same house together. Uh, I'm actually filming from my bedroom right now because uh, all other rooms in the house are being occupied by the children. So if you hear any background noise, please excuse the children. They are making memories. So this particular Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus, I actually got for Christmas and I'm only getting around to reading it right now. I'm very, very excited to have this because as you comic book collectors out there know, these early issues of Amazing Spider-Man are pretty much uh, unattainable uh, because they're so darn expensive. I mean, if you have some money to, uh, to spend on those early issues, I mean, all the power to you. But for those of us that uh, have a hard time scrounging two pennies together, uh, this would probably be the next best thing. And this is just such a beautiful addition. I absolutely love it. My first impression of it when I when I got it for Christmas was, wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, when you first get this, the first thing you're going to notice is is how thick it is. This is a quite a thick omnibus. And uh, the next thing you'll notice is the legendary cover on the front by Jack Kirby of Amazing Fantasy number 15, which featured the first appearance of Spider-Man and is probably one of the most valuable and expensive comic books out there if you were to get an original edition of Amazing Fantasy 15. So this particular omnibus here, uh, I mean, is just, it's printed on very, very high quality paper. And just, it's just marvelous to look at. And I'm sure some of you are wondering what particular issues of Amazing Spider-Man are included in this Volume 1 Omnibus. Uh, that is actually right here on the front cover. It is uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15, which is the first appearance of Spider-Man. Then the Amazing Spider-Man issue number 1 to 38, as well as annuals number one and two. Also here you have Strange Tales number two and the Fantastic Four annual number two. So you're getting quite a few issues that uh, feature Spider-Man in here. You're pretty much getting the first 40 issues of the original run on The Amazing Spider-Man and uh, you're getting a few uh, bonus uh, bonus issues as well. Uh, the Strange Tales and the, the Fantastic Four. Now this omnibus here is not a first edition. Uh, if you, uh, you're probably not going to be able to see here, but, uh, this is the fourth edition, first printing of the Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus number one. So this book here went through four other printings, and this is the first edition of the fourth time it has gone, uh, to print, which is pretty astounding. I, I know these are, these are very much in, in high demand. So we'll just go through through some of this. I won't go obviously through the whole book. You got the table of contents here uh, for what pages all of the um, the issues are on. Then there's a little um, a little intro that was done by by Stanley, and this is Stanley from back in 1987. And and there it is the the first first appearance of Spider-Man. I, like I, I'm always in awe. Uh, when I I see these early appearances of my of my favorite characters, it's just it's just amazing. I, I and I love the art. In Amazing Fantasy number fifteen, I have to say I actually really really enjoy enjoyed this issue. I've actually read this issue before. Uh, I have a couple of reprints in my collection of uh, of Amazing Fantasy fifteen, but every time uh, this shows up, I, I I read it because this is an absolutely wonderful story uh like i don't know if you've ever had this experience before where you get this this key issue that is really uh hyped about and 
you finally sit down to read it and you're like, I don't get what all the hype is, it was about over this issue is it absolutely crap. And I'm thinking in particular, I've had that experience with a uh, new mutants 98. Uh, I have that issue. And when I got it, I was so excited to read it. And then when I actually read it, I was like, this was not that great. I don't know why people hype about it so much. I mean, yeah, it's the first appearance of Deadpool, but yeah, I didn't enjoy it that much. But I have to say, Amazing Fantasy 15 is one of those key issues that I actually enjoy. It's really, really good. And uh, it's just such a compelling story, you know, the, the whole fact that when Peter Parker gets his abilities, he goes into show business first. He doesn't even consider being a hero. And uh, it's only after... This is really cool too. I absolutely love where you get to see those those inventions uh, of of the um, the web the web shooters. But yeah, it's only after his his uncle is 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 killed and murdered that he actually decides to go into the heroing business. And here's that scene there where uh, where that that thief gets away and he's like, "Hey, dude, that's not my problem. That's your job." And then here we are with uh, with Spider Man actually catching that uh, that that thief that kills his uncle what and then the fa the famous line of with great power also comes great responsibility this will be this will be in our minds until kingdom come seriously just what what an awesome issue this was so yeah i'm not going to go through all of the the stories in here obviously that would take that would take all day but you're you're getting a lot here for for the money that you're spending and this is essentially the same as having the issues minus the collectability, obviously, but uh, you're getting everything like all, all the, for, essentially the first 40 issues. And I, I just think that's absolutely great value. So if you've been watching this channel for a while, or you've seen the last few videos that were posted on the channel, you'll know that I've, I've actually been really kind of fed up with the North American comics industry, just with, just the poor value that they offer the prices of all the comics are, are going up and you're not really getting much much story they're taking you so much time to read so a, a lot of you know that i've actually been looking at other ways in which i can enjoy the comic book hobby without buying comic books essentially and the same goes for back issues as well i used to collect back issues like they were going out of style and that was you know maybe almost 10 years ago now but Back in the day, on eBay and even at your local comic book shops, you were able to get a pretty decent deal on back issues here and there, even for some key issues. But nowadays, even the prices of back issues have just been skyrocketing, and they've, they've been out of control and just ridiculous. And It really hasn't been worth it to me to collect back issues anymore or buy new comics just because of the whole price and, and, and value uh, concerns that I have. So I've been turning to trade paperbacks and to these beautiful omnibus editions. So the short answer of the question, is it worth it to pick up this particular omnibus? The short answer is yes, I totally think it is worth it. If you look back here, not only do you see pretty much all of the covers for the Amazing Spider-Man issues that are featured in this volume, but you're also getting the price of what this volume is in Canada and the US. So you see here it's listed for $127 Canadian and $100 US. I totally think that this volume is worth it through and through. I saw on uh, Amazon.ca that this volume was listed for actually a little bit less than $127. It's actually listed for $117 at the time that this video is being made. And uh, on the U.S. site, it's actually about 95 something, something odd. I put an Amazon link to this omnibus in the description of this video. Please check it out. Pick it up. I can't recommend it enough. It is absolutely wonderful. And I definitely think it is, it is great value for the money. Also, I think these, these omnibus editions are, are, are great for people that are just getting into comic books. I know I've spoken to many people in the past that have told me they want to get into reading Spider-Man, but there's just so many years of, of, of backstory and history uh, with the character that they just don't know where to start and they feel that they would be lost. Yeah, that's true, I, I, I would have to admit, but these omnibus volumes are pretty much the solution to that problem. The Amazing Spider-Man is probably not only one of the greatest superhero comics in North American 
comic book history, but it's also probably the greatest like soap opera. Like that, I, that's what I always loved about Amazing Spider-Man. It's not only a superhero comic; it's also a, a drama. You, you you get what's going on in Peter Parker's life and the life of Spider-Man as well, which makes this unique and entertaining at the same time. Now, yes, there are other ways that you can read The Amazing Spider-Man without having to buy the issues. You could go with Marvel Unlimited and read it digitally, but if you're like me and you really need to hold something in your hands, uh, I would go with this omnibus. There are other collected editions of The Amazing Spider-Man available out there, but I'm telling you, the value in these omnibuses is just so much better. I think those Marvel Epic collections here in Canada retail for around 50, 40 to $50. Obviously in the US they'd be a little bit less. But for the price of two of those, where you're not getting as many issues, you can get a whole omnibus and you're, you'll be getting a lot more reading material from just buying the omnibus. And there used to be those Marvel Essentials where a lot of their early Marvel stories were printed in black and white, but I was actually looking for those the other day and I, I, I can't find them anywhere. I'm not even sure if they're, they're even still in print. But as you can tell, overall, I'm very, very happy with these, these omnibuses so far. I have a few others that I, I plan to do reviews on eventually, but this one has a special place in my heart in particular because it's the first almost 40 issues of the original Amazing Spider-Man run, and Spider-Man is my second favorite superhero. Batman's my first, but this was always a series that I, I loved to read, and uh, a series that I have a lot of individual issues in my collection too, and I absolutely love the Amazing Spider-Man. Like, like many other people, Spider-Man is one of those heroes that is uh, very, very popular in American pop culture. So like I said, I 100% recommend these Omnibus editions. And if you plan to get one, I definitely would uh, get one sooner than later. And the only reason why I say that is the quantities are in very limited supply. And that is not because of the coronavirus. Uh, that's just how it works. They have a print run of so many of these. And then once they are sold, they are sold and they are gone. So currently at the time that this video is being made, they do still have copies of this on Amazon. Once again, I have a link in the description. Please follow that link. And if you wanna get your own copy, please go ahead and get it. Let me know in the comments if you already have this or you've read it or you plan to get it or you've, you've, you've gotten it. Uh, let me know what you think of it because I, I absolutely love it. I'm currently looking for the volume two omnibus of The Amazing Spider-Man and I can't find it anywhere for a fair price. You find them listed on Amazon from, from third-party sellers and they they have it listed for like, I don't know, $400. I'm not even kidding you. The, the, the volume two of this is listed for $400. I'm assuming it's because it's out of print and if you want it, you're gonna be paying a premium for it. I really, really hope that uh, the volume two and the volume three of the Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus goes back to the printing press as soon because I really wanna get a copy at a fair price. But if you don't even have volume one yet, now is the time to get it. Go in the, the description, follow the link, pick this up. You will not regret it. So that's about it for our video today. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this omnibus or any, any comments about it, please let me know in the comments. Would love to hear from you all. And I will see you all in the next episode. This is Dante D signing off.